Welcome back, everyone. I am Brian. You are Chords and Notes Nation. I gotta turn this chair because I am twisting my knee, trying to turn towards you guys. <laughs> it was starting to hurt. Um, welcome back. This is going to be Wednesday. When this comes out, this is gonna be Wednesday, uh, the 30th of August, if I have that, if I'm looking at my calendar right. Uh, we are midweek here. And we've had two very strong videos to start the week out. This one is going to be a fun video, but a strong one as well. Because it's Mirror Mirror by Blind Guardian, one of one of the bands that I do like. This song was actually off of their album, uh, Nightfall in Middle Earth. This was released in, if I remember, well, I not remember if I can see, uh, 1998. Okay. Now, Lord of the Rings, J.R.R. Tolkien, loved it since I was a child, man. Um, well... Since I was, uh, yes, a child. I'm always a child, right? Because I still have parents. Oh. <laughs> <Duh>. <laughs> um, um, the stories I loved. Uh, when did I first start reading? Somewhere in my teens, mid to late teens. Um, and and ever since then, it was just like, oh. you know, I actually have some audiobook reviews on Tolkien's work here on this channel. So go check out my audiobook review playlist if you guys are interested. Uh, because as I was, uh, in my current profession as a truck driver, I don't have enough time to read um, consistently. So I what I have done is I've rented some audiobooks from the library and listened to them as I'm driving. And uh, I think the two of the works, I think I only did two works. Um, the Silmarillion, which was always difficult for me to read, but listening to it, made all the difference in the world. Uh, and then uh, the Children of Huron, if I said that right. And uh, I think those are the only two. Fabulous books, though. Fabulous books. And I know the second one was, well, was the Silver No, the Silver was finished by Tolkien, but it had uh, appendix, um, uh, Christopher did some work in it, too. But Christopher, I think, wrote essentially put together his father's notes and wrote the story of the children of Huron, if I remember correctly. Anyways, it doesn't matter. So anytime you have a fantastic band that is going to take on some fantastic literature and turn it into wonderful music, like Blind Guardian did, it um, it's always intrigued me, enticed me. And now here, Dan, with featuring Cedric Forsberg... Um, is, that's Davey on guitar, right? You guys let me know. Um, he, he's going to take on this song, which is one of my favorite songs off of this album. Uh, I would have to say that one and... Hmm. Noldor and the Eldar. Those are the three that are my most favorite off of this album. If you haven't listened to this album, uh, find a way to, because I think it's a fascinating album. It's really good. It's They did a wonderful job. This was my introduction to Blind Guardian, by the way. So that's always kind of neat when your first album, it's kind of like your first love. You'll never forget it, and it'll always have a special uh, effect on you for the rest of your life. Um, yeah, so cool. Hey, listen, I started a dialogue. For those of you who haven't watched my other videos from this week, regarding things outside of YouTube, please go back to the Time to Say Goodbye reaction. And listen to the introduction there. I explain in the fullness kind of where I want to go, what I want to do. And for me to not have to explain every single video, it's easier for you to go there than for me to sit here and laboriously say the same things over and over and over again in every single video that I do until people start responding the way that they need to respond. You know what I mean? Um, but anyways... Let's get started with this. I'm excited. I do have, I am going to feature this. I will talk briefly about this. My son gave me a, created this for me. It's a Chords and Notes coffee mug. Um, and I'm looking towards doing some merchandising after I meet certain thresholds that I have set up for myself uh, here and on Patreon. So that's, that's an important thing for you to check out in the description box below. There should be a link to go to Patreon as well. But definitely get onto that first video I told you about so that you understand where, where I'm going and what I want to do. But anyways, coffee mugs would be awesome. You guys let me know because it's kind of cool. If I'm inviting you over here as a friend to sit down with me and watch in my living room and we're going to have coffee together, why not have the same coffee mug? It'd be great. 
All right, let's get started. That's a cool photo. I like that. All right. Insure your small business with a fellow small business owner. Okay, whatever they say. Talk to an agent today. Do it. It's the Labor Day sale at Denver Mattress. And right now, the more you buy, the more you save. Take a hundred bucks out of
weapon for <laughs> That was great. That was freaking awesome. That's it. Oh, no, no. Okay, I'm just going to leave that. Leave it there like that. Pelvita, you could No, I'm not going to advertise for them. Screw that. I'm not here to advertise for anyone. There, we'll leave it at that. Oh, can you tell how I feel about this song? Was my body movements, my nonverbal gestures, did they give it away? Or do I have to translate it for you? This was awesome. <laughs> I know, I know. We need to... Curses and negative things just go away. We don't need to curse. But there are some times where that expletive, <laughs> it applies, man. So, yeah, that was great. Uh, I don't know if I've ever heard anyone sing like Hansi from Blind Guardian. He has, did I say his name right? I'm going to look. I think it's Hansi. Uh, Hansi Kursch, Kursch. I don't know how to say it. I don't speak German. Hansi. He has such a distinctive voice. Okay. It's that Germanic dialect. Him and Klaus Mein from the Scorpions. They have that, that Germanic grrr in their voice. And Dan does not speak German as a primary language. He speaks Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese, and of course English, uh, but Brazilian Portuguese. So when you're able to emulate somebody's dialect in their singing, almost spot on, that catches my attention. It really does. And that's, right, didn't he? I hope you've heard this song in its original form before. If I remember, I'm gonna, at the end of this video, I'll put that up. Um, I'll find a, a Blind Guardian Mirror Mirror video and, and put that up for you to listen to. Um, but, you know, I, everything musically, the guitars. Cedric Forsberg, is that the same as Victor the Guitar Nerd? Or is this someone else? Did he change his name? Did he give himself a different handle online? I don't know. But what a fabulous job on guitars. It was, this was spot on, right? And... Blind Guardian has two guitar players, so you're just one playing both parts. It's just phenomenal. Um, but Dan's delivering, delivery in this song, his articulation, his enunciation, all of it was just grabbed you by the you-know-what and just dragged you around town. That's, <laughs> it's true, <laughs> metaphorically speaking. Um, what a great, great job. Oh, I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, so fantastic, man. I mean, I, I can't. I'm just like, wow, I got to listen to this again. Now, oh, but I did want to tell you, sometimes I have to turn things up and down. Uh, for those of you who don't know, there's a reason. Well, one of the reasons I don't wear headphones. But I am sitting next to a sound system that's very loud as well. And sometimes I have to control the volume there. Someone had once commented, hey, turn your volume up. We can control ours from here. It'll sound better. I'm still working against certain things that have happened in my life, okay? And I will tell you that um, years ago, I had a work accident, and I wound up having a concussion from that, a severe concussion. And as a result of that, certain things have changed, and there are certain triggers... Uh, sound, lights, that sort of thing, that will bring a migraine onset. And I'm trying to avoid that because when I get my migraines, they're pretty big. And sometimes I wind up having to miss work or something because of it, because I just got to be in a dark room and hold myself up and do the best I can. So uh, I have to maintain certain things. There are reasons why I do things the way that I do. It's not just willy-nilly, just whatever. Okay, so those of you who don't understand, apply a little bit of uh, Socratic thinking to your wondering and 
don't forget, I'm still waiting to do a question and answer video in my community tab on my YouTube page. If you scroll down far enough, you'll see that I put up an announcement there that I want you guys to give me questions. Okay? So that if I have enough to justify creating a video to answer these questions, I will do that. Although I am a free talker, so you probably know most most things about me already. But still, let's let's see if we can do a QA. Huh? That'd be great. Alright, that's it, man. God bless you. Jesus loves you. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.